Hi guys, what a classic TV facts and trivia. Thank you for being here. Today's video is on Gilligan's Island. Uh, it's on Bob Denver and Don Wells, who said Gilligan's Island wasn't just for kids. If you were uh, to call Gilligan's Island ridiculous or silly, not only would Bob Denver agree with you, but he'd probably thank you. Denver was well known for his role as a stranded castaway named Gilligan. Uh, the silly, goofy show um, uh, um, was uh, full of sight gags, slapstick comedy, and a lot of interesting antics. Although Gilligan's Island was a popular series that gave us three seasons, it lacked in its approval rate from adults across the country. It's silly, yes, but children laugh and adults can if they want to, Denver said in a 66 interview with the Akron Beacon Journal. It's aimed at the vast everybody. According to the interview, many adults who watch Gilligan's Island found humor uh, to be too silly and unbelievable. From the professor's inventions, Gilligan meeting a lion and NASA astronauts, uh, the series took us on a journey as new adventures and burdens fell on the principal cast each week. Some of these cast members included Alan Hale Jr., who played the skipper, and Natalie Schaefer, who played Mrs. Lovey Howe, Tina Louise, who played Ginger Grant, Don Wells, who played Marianne Summers. Denver wasn't the only cast member who had strong opinions on the appropriate age range for Gilligan's Island. In another 1966 interview with the Democrat and Chronicle, Alan Hale Jr. was asked if he thought the series was just for kids. You know, a lot of grown-ups have started watching our show, too, he said. I actually wit quite a number of comments from parents. You know, the kids turn us on, the parents watch a bit at first, and then they like us. One of the silliest episodes of Gilligan's Island involved Denver's dressing up in Count Dracula clothing for a dream sequence where he played the Bela Lugosi vampire. He didn't pop up from a coffin that would also convert into a bed. Denver considered the humor of the series to be one of the best things about Gilligan's Island, but many fans had a hard time relating to the show because of how silly it could be. At the time of the interview, Gilligan's Island was in its third season on air. The series was gaining lots of success, and not just with kids, but with adults. It's really quite an escape show, Wells said. People just sort of fall back and relax when they watch it. Uh, I started watching it again recently, um, and my wife has never seen it. Uh, she's from the Philippines, and she looked at me like I was stupid. <laughs> Should we have to watch this? And so I had to turn it off, but uh, it takes her. It took her a while to like Andy Griffith show too, but uh, she likes it real well now. Anyway, and she loves all in the family. But uh, anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget about Faith and Entertainment. I'm recommending a movie over there, and it is called Life Mark. It's a really good movie. You want to check it out? Please subscribe if you haven't yet here and there. Please like this video. Thank you very much. Uh, you guys have a great day. God bless. Praying for you.